tell you what, Ashley, we're keeping a close eye early for the week ahead. Two systems on the horizon. The first is a near miss. It'll clip the plains Lyman and East. That's the area that we will watch for some of these shower activities. It's too warm for snow, so minimal impacts. What we will see here across I-25 will be some cloud cover. And then our next system Monday night into Tuesday is already surging in. Watch this. A front looks to move through overnight. So by Tuesday morning, we will be dealing with some snow showers throughout the e afternoon and the evening. Minimal impacts, but again, it brings a cooler shot of air with some of these snow showers on the table. By Wednesday, you flip a switch. We are warming up and drying out. So rather insignificant snow totals, maybe a trace to an inch for portions of the plains, one to four inches in general up across the high country. Any plans tonight or out the door early tomorrow morning? Teens and 20s for the eastern plains with some single digits up across the high country. Highs tomorrow, a taste of fall, 50s and some 40s out across the plains with 30s and 40s in the high country, 57 degrees for the metro. So that will put us about five degrees up above average. No surprises through the Super 7A forecast. What we do watch is Tuesday, windy with some cooler air and snow showers on the table. After that, it just doesn't last long. By Thursday, Friday, and even into next weekend, 50s and 60s with zero rain or snow chances. All right, Joe, thank you so much for that update. We appreciate it.